Hi, I'm Yael, and I've been asked to say uh, something about grief and and how to be there for someone who's grieving. So from, from my personal experience, when someone's lost someone and they're grieving, many times the people around them, even though they care deeply, they just don't know how to be there for that person because they don't know what to say, they don't feel like they can fix it, and they don't feel like they can cheer the person up, which is usually true. And it's also not you know many times what needs to be done to try and cheer a person up or pull them out of it sometimes i think the person most of the time just needs to know that you're there and not just saying i'm here for you but saying it and meaning it um and showing it so you know by saying i'm here for you for whatever it may be if you need to call me in the middle of the night if you want me to come by with food if you want to have a drink if you want to tell stories about the person who passed away or if you want to laugh about something completely unrelated and, and for me to distract you, I'm here and I care. And I, you know, maybe be honest if you haven't experienced grief uh, to that degree yourself and, and say, I can't even possibly imagine what it is you're going through, but I'm here and I love you and I care. Um, you know, in the Jewish religion, there's a tradition called sitting Shiva, which basically after a person passes away, for a week afterwards, um, the people closest to the person, usually the closest family members who are grieving, sit either in that person's house or in their own house, and they are surrounded for a week by friends and family from all parts of life. Uh, you know, people they sometimes haven't seen in 20 years will suddenly just show up without even talking to them first and just, just to say, I'm so sorry, and, and spend a few hours, even an hour, sitting with them. And... I've been to quite a few of these shivot, and the, the truth is you expect it to be sort of this extremely gloomy atmosphere, and it usually isn't. I mean, there will be tears, of course, occasionally, but, you know, the people from from all different parts of life will organize food, and the people who are grieving don't have to do a thing. They don't have to host. They don't have to worry about feeding people. This is all taken care of by everybody around them. And... And, uh, you know, there's laughter a lot of times, whether about sharing stories about the person who passed away or, or just the distraction, you know, <laughs> laughing about completely unrelated things. And the, the, the point is that these people don't feel alone and they feel cared for and loved by the people that they've known, all, you know, throughout their lives uh, or that the person who passed away knew. And um, I think that's the most important thing. It's, it's saying that you'll be there and actually being there. And, you know, I think everybody should adopt this Shiva idea, whether religious or not. Um, but, but if you can't, then at least do it by yourself, you know. Um, make sure they know that you're there and actually be there. Uh, because everybody deals with grief so completely differently that, you don't know, maybe, maybe they actually don't want to sit around and cry. And maybe they want to, to have a good laugh about something completely unrelated and distract them for a little bit. Or maybe they do want to tell stories and share pictures and... And showing you care means, you know, kind of sussing out what the person needs in that moment and, and actually being there for them. Mm. That's it. That's my experience.